I don't see Olivia's boat. Actually, yeah, why am I surprised by that? I probably just ran the thing aground somewhere and hobbled out. Maybe we'll have some time to catch up to her. Come on. Edwards Island. It's been a while. Did you come here often? When you were younger, I mean? Oh, sure. During the summer, all the time. It wasn't really a family tradition, but something my brother and I would do when we got bored. I think I remember how to get to the old communications tower. Richard Harden Tower? Big Harden? <laughs> you'll, you'll, you'll see. Just head for the stairs. Hey, you think Olivia could have gone down this road? Under the tunnel? No, that only goes to more woods. And I think she's headed for the tower. Yeah, this place, even like 10 years God, ago. God, all this kitschy bullcrap. I hated it as a kid when I was here. It still raises the hair on the back of my neck. Oh, I loved how cheesy everything was here as a kid. It's still, you know, it's a, a little bit warming to, to see it. I, I don't know. But anyways, I was just saying this place was a... This is... What's the significance of this again? It's the propeller from the USS Canaloa. The only part of it recovered. That I just can't believe that those people, the, the, the Canaloa's crew, are the ones now trying to come back through Olivia. Mackie already hated that they put this up. Hey, I don't blame him. If I got friendly fired into oblivion, I'd be pretty pissed about it too. No, I know. It's just, man, a lot of those people have grandchildren still in town. It's just, this is just crazy. I think I knew someone's older brother who used to work here years ago, you know, back in high school. Yeah, it was like a rite of passage, I think somebody told me once. Everyone has to work at Edwards Island when they're 15, or else your childhood doesn't count. Oh, man, that's weird. Things on the island seem a little different since I last came for brunch. Where's Olivia? Do you see her? Fire! Man's great equalizer. So, what's the, um, what's the, like, thing to do here? Other than obviously go skinny dipping and get murdered by Jason Kruger. I don't know if they can, like, see us, but... Fire! Man's great equalizer. Hey, wait, Alex! We're, we're still just, like, getting our feet wet, so... Don't worry. I don't know you're here. They're echoes stuck between time. My friends and me. Olivia's opening the portal already. Or will or has. The, the timelines are converging. Trying to get us there, but the jumps are erratic. We'll glitch again soon. Just wait a second. These are your friends. Kind of, yes and no. They... Yes, it's hard to explain. They're shadows of themselves. But yes, Riley, these are my friends. Beyond all odds, these are my friends. So, the cave. What's your bets? On a scale of 1 to 10, how weird's it gonna be? Pretty goddamn weird, Jonas. You know, in the moments after you drop a glass bottle or lose your keys or trip, and you just keep replaying the minutes right before it happened over and over. Why didn't I just not do that? Why, why didn't I just... Why didn't I drown instead of my brother? They would have fixed a lot of things. Alex, your friends here, they wouldn't want that. For you or for them. You're not what went wrong. A military test went wrong and you got caught in it. So did you. I've been thinking. In all the times I've tried this, and in all the times you've stopped me, you never came here. You never came to the island. And I don't know what that means. Oh, wait. Hi. We're going to see Olivia now. I know this looks bad. It looks bad because it is, but we still have time. Follow me up. I'm gonna try and convince Olivia before it's too late. You destroyed her radio, so it'll slow her down a little, but not enough. Oh man, 
Christ, thank God I didn't bring this If I fall to my death, please adopt her. Livius on the roof! Alex? Alex! Out of here. I don't even know if this is a, a place or <sighs> the forest was the town with the trees. Come on, it's not over yet. the home you're trying to get back to? What is there to escape to? light is a little... Uh, is there like a like a hum to it? The radio's buzzing a bit. I'm at 
the comm tower again? The array's up. No damage we could see. Over. I'm on my lunch break, okay? Talk to Colonel Shear if this is important. I'm... I'm sorry, but are you Maggie Adler? This is... Am I in Fort Milner? Fort Milner? No. I don't believe you are. I don't believe I'm the Maggie Adler my mother once knew. But don't worry. You'll be gone soon anyway. Just like me. But if you're not... Maggie, who are you then? A figment. A comic strip thought balloon. A particle of someone you think you know. The dead don't change. They can't. Just like you and me. I'll always be here, and you'll always be in your little apartment. Wishing things were different. If a caterpillar is a butterfly unblossomed... Not yet! I am not dead yet! There's still time! I still have time to fight them off! I know they're still- Like how I fought? Against the eclipse? Against death? Nothing fights like time, child. And the sunken are as time itself. Stop fighting. Your grist. For souls who use your sunburks here with me. has no... It's okay. It's okay. I'm not gone yet. Not completely. Just oh, keep moving. Please don't be... You don't have to sound so disappointed. That's not every other day this month. Robbie, come on! That's... You know that's not what's happening here. I'm not... We're just... I need space and time to... Yeah, that's enough of that. It was just to avoid college for a while. And I don't even know if I want to do that. Yeah, Dad, I know you, you were excited when I enlisted, but I just I don't even know if I want to do that. Yeah, Dad, I know you, you were excited when I enlisted, but it, it just didn't work out, okay? to find a way out of here. Am I this time?
Wouldn't you know it. You show up, fish clear out. Not like you should expect this to go any better, I guess. Or maybe I'm just bad luck. What, uh, what bait are you using? Oh, worm and a prayer. That's what I'm using. They didn't have a bunch of, uh, fitty bits of plastic in the Dark Ages, so why should I, right? You said something like that once. You recognize me, right? I know it's you, Rex. Yeah, I know. You're a long way from home, Riley. You've been a long way from home for a while now, to tell you the truth. And I know you wanted to change some things when you heard I was coming. Get your life in order. You know, exercise five days a week, stuff like that. How's it going so far? Making your bed every day? Cooking your own dinners? Or have recent events sort of gotten in the way of all that? Oh, everything's just peachy, Rex. This is exactly where I wanted to end up. It's like, it's been like most things I try to do. It's gone bad. Really bad. It's just made things worse. Like most things you try to do. Yeah. Here's the thing about that. I'm one of those things. And I think I turned out pretty okay. <sighs> I wasn't talking about you, so... Riley, I know you think you effed up here. And that you failed, and that the whole town is going to get eaten by ghosts, but... You haven't yet. They haven't yet. But they will unless you snap the hell out of it right now. For my sake. How? You don't think I'm trying? I'm stuck here. You've been stuck before. You've been stuck for years. Mom, I think you've let a lot of anger keep you stable to the carpet. You used to make me say I was sorry, even when I wasn't. Remember that? Well, it's time for you to do something you're not quite ready for, too. Look, the Sunken and Alex and all of her friends have been in a void, just like you. Unlike you, though, they want to get out of it. How many years did you drain away on the couch, in bars, doing nothing, wanting nothing? Yeah, it's been... it's been a little hard for me to, you know, get out there. It's hard for everyone. This stuff is hard. And don't say... I know you like to be stoic. In the grand scheme of everything, you know what? You do matter. This does matter. So this is the opposite of what you're going to try and teach me, by the way. But you'll always have a saying for everything. Okay, now, I, I tried to be a good mom in those those moments with you. I, I tried, but I was pretty much thrown into it. Everyone's pretty much thrown into it, but you're missing the point. <sighs> I'm fishing, see? Fishing, that's because of you. I cook my eggs how I do because you cook your eggs that way. I wear jackets all the time, even when I'm dying of heat. I don't floss. I buy too many socks. All the utterly horrible guidance made me who I am today, and I like who I am. But you just don't take your own damn advice, Mom. You never do. You never did. So, I'm here now, to make you take your own advice. Do something. Be something. Just make a choice, and stick with it. Even if that choice doesn't take you exactly where you expected it to. How, Rex? How exactly am I supposed to do that here? It's easy. Well, 
It's not easy, but it's easy to start. Admit to yourself, to me, to the void, that eternity doing nothing isn't for you. Wait, so I just say this and I- No, Riley. You have to say it. And mean it. Come on. Riley, you have to talk to me. I'll never leave unless you break out of this. No, Rex, I, I just don't see how the... I'll never leave unless you break out of this. It's not what I want. It's not enough. And what do you really want? I want to just do something that matters. I need to do something that matters. Uh, yes. Yes, you do. But I think this is my stop. And look, Mom, don't be so realistic. Dream a little, okay? It's good for you. Oh, and I'll see you at Christmas. Wait!
Dream Oil presents the... Uh, Riley? Naval What's... submarine sank in the... it. <gasps> Olivia! Jesus! <sighs> oh my god! Olivia, are you... Is she okay? I'm still here. Olivia, Sunken can't help you. You couldn't help me! You quit! We could have had everything we wanted if you just kept to the plan! The Canaloa crewmen would have... I know! I know. I thought they would help me. Olivia, stop. Come on. This is over. Is it? Where the hell are we? We're still between things. We've pushed back the sunken and systemized the portal. And that's good. That's what we want. But someone still has to lock it from the other side. I did it myself. Many years ago. Okay, let's close it. That's why we're here, right? Not so fast. Someone has to tune the portal from within the time stream. Or it will never close. And consume us all. What are you talking about? Whoever closes this portal. Wait, there's absolutely no other way? Someone has to be on the other side to do it? On the other side of this portal, you'll be between spaces. Because of how the sunken and me and my friends entered, we didn't have the choice. We became stuck in the moment of our accident. But it can be a gift. Olivia, you can be with your parents again. Forever. But it's not real. It was real. And that could be enough. But you'd also be trapped in that space of time for eternity, like you are. I understand this isn't for everyone. But I have a feeling it's for someone. And Riley, you should know because it matters for this. Rex and you, it doesn't end well. I've seen a lot of versions of you. Well, waiting, and looking, and you guys are gonna have a lot of good days. I mean, years of them. Just someday, the two of you will hit a wall too tall to climb and too long to walk around. And I know you know exactly the kind of situation I'm talking about, don't you? What situation? What are you even talking about? I... I don't know why you're choosing now to tell me this. Because if you choose to stay in the portal, you can be with Rex when you two are alright. And you never have to see yourself the way I've seen you. I'm sorry to be the one to tell you this, but I'm the only one that can. I built the antenna, me! Charlie just knew where to get the parts! And she almost ruined everything! Olivia... And yet, you beseech her like she's some prophet! I am going in that portal, ghost. It's not up to her. It's not up to you anymore, either. No, Olivia, you're not stepping into that thing. I won't let you. Letting me? My parents. You have no idea what they meant to me. And I am not giving up the chance to be with them again. You chose me for a reason. I did. Your future is cloudy and uncertain, and you wanted this so badly. 
I thought I could live with myself if we switched. But maybe that was just mania acting for me. No, you didn't talk yourself into this. What do you mean her future's cloudy? Honestly, Riley, I can't put it any other way. Well, it's Riley's decision who goes in. Why? She has the radio, and it was always going to be like this. Always. Riley, you have a kid on the way. Really want to be stuck in a past moment forever? I want this! Quiet. Let her think. Riley, just give me the radio, okay? Just give me the radio and walk away. Done. Olivia. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I know I did this, I caused all of this, but it's... This isn't what you think. I'm not too young. I'm not too impulsive. I've lived enough of my life to know what I want. What I want, what I need, is to... Oh, Riley, I'm sorry, but... Before tonight, I think I would have been the first one to volunteer, honestly. But, I'm sorry, Riley. Our friendship and what we did tonight, I can't just live in memories anymore. I'm just not in the same place I was. I want to make some changes in my life. I understand, Jacob. You have a life to live. You should see that through. I feel terrible even saying it, Riley. I do. I'm sorry I can't do this for you, but I just can't. It's fine. He doesn't want it. I need this. You're really letting me go? I guess she is. Why? Maybe she saw in you. You want it. So, if you want it, go ahead. I won't stop you. Olivia, tune the portal closed. What? I'm going to see my mom and dad again. I mean, it's actually going to happen. It's going to actually happen. Did it. Look, Riley, I don't have to say thank you, and we're not hugging. Just be a good mom. To your son. Don't worry about it, Olivia. We'll be okay. Yeah, w uh, what's going on? Hey, nothing much. This is just the next day check-in. Leslie's really happy with the work you did. The transmitters, you know, their placements seem perfect. Negligible scratch. I know it wasn't the most interesting work day, but the, uh, our environmental research staff is gonna be psyched when they hear how clear the cuckoos are coming through. The bird calls are perfect. Not a lot of interference. Evelyn, what the hell are you talking about? Do you... Do you remember the storm? It did rain periodically last night, but I, I don't think it'll hurt the equipment. But yeah, the transmitters, Leslie went over this with you, but the transmitters are for the area's yellow-billed cuckoos population. Cuckoos are endangered in Oregon, and this will help track migratory patterns and help us get a sense of their nesting range. Hopefully get them off the endangered list, if it's warranted. But 
Evelyn, I was hired to plant transmitters to study a strange interference with the area's electronic equipment. Remember? Uh, no. Riley, you were hired to help us study yellow-billed cuckoos? And you did. So, that's... Maybe you're just overtired. I don't think you made it to the hotel last night. Did something happen? Oh, wait, sorry, Riley, uh, before you get into it. Sorry, really quick. We're shuffling projects and need to know before Leslie walks out the door. If you'd be willing to sign up for another job next month. You are one of our better researchers. And it'd be the same deal, basically. Just planting test equipment. Uh, yeah. Maybe. I'll, um, I'll think about it. Uh, okay. Give it a think. Sounds good. Well, thanks for everything, Riley. I think you can pick up your check at the campus admissions office. Uh, okay. Sounds good. Going? It was nice to Give meet me you, Evelyn. Second. Take care, okay? Thank you. It was really nice to meet you too, Riley. Have a good rest of your visit. Over and out. The first thing I heard this morning? A little, I guess. Do you hate me? Maybe a little. I probably deserve a bit more than a little. Riley, I may come off to you differently, but I really don't know how any of this stuff works. Things are here again, though. You did that. I'm here. My friends are here. All the people of Kamina? None of them have been taken over by the vengeful ghosts of a sunken submarine. And you're here, thinking about Olivia. I can't help but feel sad for her. I know it was her decision, but it still feels like giving up. If you give up something that holds no meaning to you anymore... No, I won't say that. But I will say she seemed content, and I think we'll have to live with that. Alex, come on, we're gonna be late. Yeah, just give me a minute. Yeah, they don't remember. They're better off, honestly. I'm a... <laughs> taking AP English this year. When we went in, I was working on a paper on Dickinson. She said she, uh, she never had a mother. That a mother is someone to whom you run when you're in trouble. However you end up with Rex, Riley, you fit the description. Remember that. Bye, Alex. Watch out for any, well, for anything, really, okay? It was a lot of work to get you here. I'll be good. All right, I'll see you around, Riley. Have a good one. Alex. Yeah, 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 I just had to... Who was that? She's the mom of one of the guys in school. Ugh, I'll tell you about it later. If only you would have a mom friend. Jesus. Stop talking to everyone. Sure thing. Hey, buddy, what are you doing out of here? I think she likes you. She's not usually this friendly. Jacob! H hey! You, uh, know me, right? Yeah, from Kamina High? I'm kidding. Yeah, I remember. I know what happened. What we did. Oh, I'm still a little shaky, to say the least. I, I woke up in bed. Just a normal Saturday. Right? It, it is Saturday, isn't it? But, uh, phew, yeah. <laughs> I didn't know I'd ever see you again. But here you are. Hey, man, trust me. I'm happy to see you, too. Oh, good. <laughs> uh, no, I, I I, was just... Two minutes ago, I was trying to come to terms with the fact that I might be the only one to remember. Oh, uh, this is Athena's time to do her uh, business. We, we call it business time. I, uh, need to apologize for not offering myself to the portal. I wouldn't have even said anything, but 
I knew it was always going to be Olivia. She just needed it. For her, this was never going to end. No, it's, it's better this way, I think, for everyone. And besides, it wasn't your responsibility to have to do that. It shouldn't have been anyone's. Yeah, well, thanks for that. I don't know if I fully believe you, but, um, thanks. So, I think you should call your dad and tell him you're going to be a mom. And why that's a good thing. Pretty soon, anyway. It's true. He is going to have another branch in the family tree. Y you know, we make these little people, and those little people grow up into big people. And along the way, we change. We lose things. We gain things. We form opinions. We have regrets. And we, we, we take all of that stuff and go on making more little people. Time travel really isn't anything compared to all that, is it? Nope, not really. The other night I had a dream. I was talking to my grandmother about something, I don't know. But we were watching TV, her old black and white in her living room. It was just white noise. And she said something to me about waves. About the ocean, how it was eternal, like time itself. And when I woke up, I felt comforted by that. I think that's all you can do in the face of it. Be comforted. Or... listening to this, my name is Alex, but that doesn't matter much, you don't know me. You've never heard of me, you never will. But I know Riley, and she's a unique person. I'm sure you know that too. What you probably don't know is that she helped me out in a really big way recently, and the only thing I can think of to do to pay her back is to send you this package. It's, um, a, c a collection of things that will hopefully give you a clearer picture of just who Riley is and the immense effect she's had on people's lives. <sighs> I don't know. When you get through everything, I left a note at the bottom. Okay. Oh, and the... Sasquatch. 
Sure. It used to be just my home office, really. The place I make my, uh, my art. But I, uh, decided to start opening it up to visitors a bit more. Or anyone who wants to see. A friend of mine, Riley, really pushed me to do it. Her son, Rex, is a smart critic. <laughs> Brutal, but smart. I've started to become known around town as more than just the local weirdo. <laughs> which, which, which is a plus. I'd lived my life a certain way up until this point. <laughs> Pretty closed off, anxious. And, I don't know, life's just too short, right? appreciate my stepfather and there was a time that I hated even the concept of having a stepbrother relationships are hard even the ones that are supposed to be easy supposed to be ingrained I don't really know what I expected to do with all this but just know that your mom isn't just your mom she's not just the person who you maybe think failed you She's a person that has a life, and that life has a lot of branches to it. And she cares about you, Rex. You were the future she didn't want to lose. And no matter what you think of her, remember that. All right, I think that's it. Oh, and the... stay off the radio.
Yes. <laughs> 